Hey, greetings, my good friends. How is everybody doing today? Welcome back to Larry's Fountain Pen Review. Peace and love. All right. So, let's do vintage. Vintage fountain pens. Yes, I do love vintage fountain pens, like I've said numerous times. But I don't like all vintage fountain pens. Why? No reason. I just like particular vintage fountain pens. Not saying that I might not ever try, try one that I never ever heard of, but for now I'll stick to the one that I have heard about. Some I know pretty well, some vaguely, hardly anything about it. So I want to introduce this pen down here to you. Wherever pin it silver with chrome fountain pen. And uh, it's got that gold clip that has wherever on the clip. Uh, and it has a lever as well with a nice new sack in it. It's uh, been restored as far as the sack. And here on the barrel, it does say wherever on the barrel and... It says, uh, trying to figure this out, North something. Uh, Mr. Announcer, see if you can see this. It has some interesting writing on the barrel. North something I could make out. Very important. North Berg, Berg, sorry, Bergen, New Jersey, USA. Okay, so that's what it says. North Bergen, New Jersey. All right. Very interesting. And uh, the texture of this pen is, is it's not rough it's smooth and it's got these swirls going on the barrel as you can see it's got silver and has a touch of white going like that lines going on down so that's interesting but only here as you turn it around the the figuration of the lines kind of stop and it has a, a different kind of look on this side uh, which I've never seen before because here are the you can see the lines as they go down pretty good you can see that pretty distinctly I hope roll the pin a little bit yeah there they are you can see those pretty distinctly but when you go back on this side nothing so that's interesting and you got the the, the cap here going on uh, Right here, it has a indication where a band might have went, or that just can be for decoration the way what looks like a band would have went. And it's got the little hole there on the side. And as you go up the barrel to the top of the finial, you'll see the gray part as well. And let me see what's on it. And really nothing on it. And as we go down the barrel, it thins out here. It unscrews. And it does post very securely. And as you go down the barrel, there's not really a step off. You can feel the threads, but they're not anything that's going to be uncomfortable on the wing to write. It doesn't have a big uh, section on the grip. Uh, I have small fingers, so I hold my pen right about here. But at times I find I, I tend to hold the pen up higher for some reason. Why? I have no earthly idea, but I do. So, then on the nib, it has... A number on it 
8363 US, unless that's a patent number. And then it has medium. It has the word actually printed out, medium. That's pretty cool. I've never seen that before. And there's the nib. Uh, but as you go down this grip, it does kind of have the rounded part there. So if I guess if your hands, your fingers were slipped down, it would stop right there. Again, it is lever filled with a sack inside. So 1950-ish era this pen come out with, and I will give it a good polishing later. I've got to do a bunch of my vintage pens and give them a little bit of love soon. Uh, and I will uh, do an update on all of them at one time after I polish them up. Now, the model of the pen is Pennant. And it's manufactured by wherever. And the length of the pen, as you see capped, is 5.45 inches. Posted, it posted at 6.08 inches. And the weight is 14.2 Gs. And again, it's made in the good old USA. So, very interesting pen. And I'll put another pen with it. I'll, another same brand, but a different model. So, what we'll do next, let's go ahead and give a rind sample of the pen and see how it writes. Let's get that ready here. All right, I think we'll go down to this section right here and get it ready. And we're going to use Tomo River Paper 52 G's. Isn't that beautiful? And as I pull out my Traveler's Notebook Journal, the ink I'm using in there is the Private Reserve Blue Suede Ink. And we'll just give it a little swirl, not a little wet test here. It's got a little bit of wetness to it. There you go. It's a nice nib. It's a different nib. It's not scratching. It's not dry. It's got good ink flow. It looks really nice. And it's a symbol of the 50 era. I like that go uh, clip on it. So it's got a nice looking gray color to it with that swirl white in there with it. So, I hope you found this uh, review interesting on this vintage pen. Really a nice pen. It didn't come in a box, so no box there. That's going to wrap this one up, my friends. Until my next review, stay safe, stay healthy, wash them hands, and as always, please don't text and dry it. <gasps> okay, okay. Back on, brother. See you later. Bye-bye.